It's Saturday the 2nd of November 2019. Oh six forty four hours Greenwich Mean Time. We lost the summer. <laughs> anyway, um last week yellow rain warning. This week yellow wind and rain warning. Octopoly haircut Malcolm up Hill Cardiff, something like that. One four four. The wind is cold and the rain. I'm sodden. Um, I had my coffee and bacon roll, then I had my hair cut, which is good, and then I got absolutely soaked coming up here, and a good job that no bus went past the side of the road because the spray coming off was huge. This is Swift One by Bowman Ales, 3.8% alcohol by volume. Nice bit of carpet for Mr. Manning, in the match up there. Um, I'm off the card if about half time. Right, beer, which is settled. Mmm, malty, rich. Hint of coffee in there. Also, tastes a bit bubbly. B plus and a bit. And as now I am a supporter. I would say that's 3.25, maybe 3.3. Yeah, nice finish. The rugby's on. I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, that last time Swift won, I think they had the wrong barrel or the wrong pump pit because it was supposed to be a golden ale. Anyway, this is a knuckle pendle by Needley Hallows Brewing Co. 5% alcohol by volume. Contains wheat and malt to barley. That's not too bad. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in the coal mine. Fruity, malty, a little bit strong. B plus and a dead three on the new scoring system. Kiffany Railway Station, Network Rails Vegetation Control. Yeah, but the sun is out and it's warm, it's just as well because the smock is still sodden. Anyway, going this way, going to Cardiff, I think here's the Bargoid Flyer. Or it could be the Astroman or the Romney Flyer. Who knows? No one's interested in trains. Well, they are actually, <laughs> including last one for three paces. No one's going to watch this. Wave. Wave. Didn't go. It's the bar will flow. Ten seconds before it opens, or not. It is, well, was the season, and they are local. Pipes, spice, pumpkin ale, 4.9% alcohol by volume, brandy glass. Real wooden floor in, live updates from Untapped. I'm not on yet, but you know, whatever. Power sockets over there. Smells spicy, lots of, you know. Mmm, effervescent, very spicy. I don't really know what pumpkins taste like. I'm going to give that B plus and a bit, and I'm going to say two point three out of five. By the way, hard marker, especially on myself. Beelzebub's, which is Crafty Devil, these people, in Cardiff, and the rain's back. And I'm drinking a Disco King American Pale Ale from Turning Point, 5.1% alcohol. Re Start again, 5.1 alcohol by volume. I'm not sure if I've had this before. If I have, it was the Otley, however. Quality glass. Yes, rain. Umbrellas are plenty. Oh, 
that'll do for me. Dry, fruity, sharp. Yeah. B plus plus, which is three point five. I'm gonna go to three point seven for this. A little bit peppery and spicy. This one's for Dean Davis um, from Siren Room. Suspended and Centennial. It's new. I think we had Suspended and Citra. I can't remember. Anyway, 4% alcohol by volume. Crafty Devil, glass. Real wooden falling for Mr. Manning, obviously. Ooh. Condiments and um, nice of course. Smells extremely fruity. It's a good one. Tropical butter finish. B. Ooh. There's a hint of spicy, peppery. Yeah, I'm going to go 3.7 because point ones matter. This is the arms. This is really wooden flooring. This is. Well, that is. Tahiti Pale from Foom Brewing Company, weighing in at the 4.3% alcohol by volume. And it's happening down outside. So, anyway. Mm. I think it tastes the honey. Sweet, malty. Definitely fits on the finish. B plus, three out of five.